DJ TV. IPOP directs member to stop buying Kenya's food and services. Plus, apologize. Surrender now, Pastor Giwa tells Buari. As Nigeria has collapsed, new nation coming soon, says Pastor Giwa. Hi guys, good morning to you, good afternoon to you, and good evening to you. Depending on the location you're watching us from, a very big welcome to you. This is DJ MTV Daily News Update, your WhatsApp channel where you get the latest and the best cheese all around the world. In case this is your first time of seeing any of our video, please take a step forward and subscribe and do not forget to turn on the notification bell so that you could be the first to get notified each time we post a new video. Let's get straight up into the main news. The leadership of the indigenous people of Biafra IPOB in Australia has charged all members of the group to boycott traveling with Kenya Airways. Head of membership and mobilization of the group in Australia, Kennedy or she, has also asked members to stop patronizing any product made in Kenya and all businesses dealing with Kenyans. It was reportedly said that Mr. Kennedy said the indigenous people of Biafra's decision was coming as a result of Kenya's betrayal, which allegedly led to the arrest and repatriation of their leader, Mazi Nandikanu. Our leader was arrested, repatriated back to a country he does not possess its passport. It is our wish to notify the public that President Kiyata Uharu of Kenya as a question to answer on the role he played in the abduction of Mazi Unamdikanu. He betrayed our leader and must be held fully accountable for his atrocities. This is pure inhumanity to man and he will tell all Biafrans how much he was paid to partake in this devilish act. We, the indigenous people of Biafra living in Australia, support the leadership of IPOB worldwide and our able directorate of states Shika Edosim and the head of our media and publicity Ima Powerful to categorically state that all IPOB members both home and abroad should by court traveling with Kenya Airlines stop patronizing any Kenya made in product and all businesses dealing with Kenyans following their country's betrayal the battle line is drawn, he said. Our question to the Nigerian government is, will the abduction of our leaders solve the continuous marginalization of South Easterners from the current political structure in Nigeria? Will his kidnap end the continuous killing, maiming, violating, and havoc currently being caused by the terrorist headman killing our people Will it also end kidnapping and banditry in Nigeria today? If the present government of Muhammadu Buhari of Nigeria can answer the aforementioned question listed correctly then, we will be ready to stop our agitation. It is a welcome development from the Department of State Security Service out of their own conscience to finally grant our lawyer, Mr. Ifai Ejio, for access to meet our leader after the first appeal was denied on last Tuesday. The outcome of this meeting will surely expose a lot of things and the whole world will be briefed in due course after the meeting. We want to state that nothing should happen to our leader while in custody. He should be well treated with dignity and respect. As he faces trial, he deserves fair hearing and also deserves justice as well. We want to encourage all Biafrans all over the world to be strong and brace up at this very challenging moment in the history of our march to freedom. With God on our side, victory is assured. Meanwhile, 
senior pastor of Awaiting the Second Coming of Christ Ministry, Pastor Adewa Legiwa, has urged Nigerians to stand firm and continue to demand for justice, saying that President Muhammad Buhari plans to murder innocent citizens and exempt his Fulani kinsmen. Pastor Adewa Legiwa, while addressing his members in Akure on the State of the Nation, said nothing could stop the freedom of the Yoruba people. He specifically urged President Buhari to learn from the Yoruba rally held in Lagos on Saturday, despite the absence of the main agitator and organizers. I hope they learn from what transpired on Saturday at the rally in Lagos, despite the absence of the main agitator Sunday Igbo. They need to surrender now and know that power belongs to God. How do you intend to join the people together when you are killing and incarcerating the innocent citizen but sparing your full and kinsmen? Let me tell you, he said, that the voice of the people cannot be suppressed. No amount of intimidation, persecution or harassment can stop Nigerians from going their different ways. Can you just sit back and look at what you have caused in Nigeria since 2015? Your administration brought disharmony, disunity, oppression and injustice to the country. Instead of you apologizing and amending your ways, you are flexing your muscles, killing and incarcerating the innocent Nigerians while sparing your Fulani people. We all know that Nigeria was created for Fulanis. And that is why people are saying they want to go, Giwa stated. The senior pastor of Awaiting the Second Coming of Christ Ministry, Pastor Adewale Giwa, has also said a new nation is emerging. Pastor Adewale said those still believing in a united Nigeria should perish the unrealistic expectation. He spoke on Sunday while addressing his member on the state of the nation. According to our correspondent, Pastor Adewale Giwa said that the level of insecurity in Nigeria warrants all the citizens to use anything and everything they could to protect themselves from Fulani terrorists. He asked Nigerians to expect a new nation with different leaders in no time. The pastor also reminded Araona Kakofo of Yoruba, Otuba Gani Adams, to put aside talks and swing into action. Do we have our honor Kafo of Yoruba? If yes, let's him put aside talks and swing into action. Nigeria has already collapsed and a new nation is on the way. Are you thinking I don't know what I am talking about? Wait until it happens in no time because the present political leaders have disappointed the citizens all of us should prepare for what is coming and at the end we shall overcome the oppressor he stated so guys we have um, added all the pastor of the second coming of um, jesus ministry has said it that nigerian citizens should no longer be open for a united nigeria that a new nigeria is on its way that they should prepare for what is coming and at the end, we shall overcome the oppressor. And he has also went for that to tell, to take a look at um, his government from 2015 that he took over power till now and see how he has destroyed the country and he is the cause of insecurity. And instead of him to apologize, he is busy um, killing innocent citizens and sparing his Fulani kindred. Most Nigeria has applauded Pastor Adewale for his courage to speak out as he is the only cleric who has spoken out in the problem facing Nigeria at the moment. Also, we saw the IPOB Australia um, telling its member to stop patronizing Kenya um, Airways and also it um, told them that they should also stop patronizing made in Kenya products and stop every business dealing with any Kenyan because of what the president has involved the country with and they said that the president must pay for his atrocity 
by arranging the re-arrest of their leader, Mazi Unamdi Kanu. So guys, this is what we have for you for this edition of DJ MTV Daily News Update. Now, we want to hear your thoughts. What do you think? Um, as per what the Kenyan government did, um, what are your thoughts? Do you think they are right to have kidnapped, adopt um, Mazi Unamdi Kanu and repatriated him back to Nigeria? Do you think they are right or do you think they are wrong? Share your thoughts with us and leave your comment in the comment section below. Please do not forget to like, share and comment on all our videos. Follow us on all our social media platforms, on Facebook, on YouTube and on Instagram. Also check us out on our website www.djmtv.news I am Victor Obreche saying, if you see something, say something, stay safe. DJ TV.